All right, so here's a really good question. So I have audio on my bass layer, and that's going to play. And then when I click and go to a second layer, that has audio on it. And I'm going to have this conflict where I have my bass layer audio and my layer audio playing at the same time. So what are the things we can do? I'm going to go ahead and add some audio here. So we've got our main slide here. And we're going to go ahead, we'll go to Insert, Audio. I'm going to do Text to Speech. I have a sentence here. I'm just going to go ahead and add the sentence. I'm going to make this a little shorter just so I don't have to wait as long. So I've got a sentence of audio. I'm going to use a female voice. So that's going to add the audio in here. It's about seven seconds. I come up here to my slide layer and I add audio and I'm going to type in the same thing here and we'll just I'll just cut it here and we're going to add make this a different voice and just so we can hear the difference. The other thing is I'll just make this layer look different. So I'm going to color this layer. Let's make the background a uh, solid color. We'll make the background uh, light gray. All right, so this way we know we're jumping to the layer. So uh, let's see what we need. We need a we need a button. So this will be layer one, right? Just so we know where we're going. And then we're on layer one. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna copy this button, and then we're gonna paste it here, and we'll just go. This will be back. All right. So if we put a trigger on here, what do I want to do? I want to show layer one when the user clicks the button. So that should jump into the layer. And this will allow us to go back. And we're just going to say hide layer. All right. So a couple of things. When I'm watching this slide here, this audio is going to play. If I click and go to the layer one, which also has audio, then I'm going to have the bass slide playing audio and the layer audio, which is the problem you're running into. So there's a few different things you can do. I think what you wanted to do is not have them jump until they've completed that audio, right? So what you can do is uh, you can uh, come into the layer. So if I, if I jump into the layer and I come into the layer here, if I click down here, I've got the properties for the layer. And you can see here, it says, I have a trigger here that says pause timeline of base layer. So what's going to happen is if the audio on the base layer is playing and I click into the layer, it's going to pause the timeline. And then when I click back out, it's going to resume it. So that's one option. So let's go ahead and turn that off and let's, let's watch it by default. And then I'll turn on my speakers. So I should hear both audios, right? Because I'm going to hear my bass layer audio. In theory, design systems theory, could help overcome this problem. Could help Spend a lot of time up front getting a component to be correct. So that's what I don't want, right? Is I don't want both playing at the same time. So that's where if I don't want it to play at the same time and I want them to be able to click, then I can just come into the layer here, go to the properties, and I'm going to say pause timeline of base layer. What that's going to do is it's going to pause it. And then when I go back, it's going to resume it. So let's go ahead and preview this slide. In theory, design, in theory, Sorry, pause design systems could help overcome this it. problem. Systems could help and overcome I, this problem. So Spend a lot see. of time up front. Get, Spend a lot of time up front getting a, com getting a component to be correct. So you can see how that works. Now, in your case, I think you were saying you didn't want them to click until this audio was complete. So there's a few things you can do there. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make this timeline last of the okay. And we'll do the same thing here. So what you can well just make let's just make it seven seconds. So what you could do is you could say let's say this is the jump to the layer. I'm going to set this to disabled. So the initial state here is going to be disabled. I'm going to go into the disabled state and make it gray just so we can see it looks disabled, right? So the initial state is disabled. So you're not going to be able to click into the layer. So um, what I can do here is I'm just going to say change the state of this button 
to normal and then when do I want to change it so when the audio completes so when the um, media completes text to speech one hit OK so now this won't they can't click in there so now they can't get to in the theory, layer design right? systems and could help overcome this problem this will open spend up. a lot of time up front getting a component to be correct in theory and design systems could help now here's an issue this is a bonus issue let's say you have the audio sometimes people have instructions they might say when you get to this slide blah 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 blah, blah and then they go through the stuff but they come back and then they get the same instructions in that case you could you could use a true false variable so like you could say this the variable is the slide been visited you say yes change it to like let's say slide visit is equal to false and then when they come to the slide you have a trigger that says change that variable from false to true when the timeline of the slide starts so that means they visited the slide then you play the audio right so then right now the audio plays automatically right so what you would just do is you would have a trigger that says um, uh, it would just play you know play media text to speech when the timeline of the slide starts for example right when the timeline starts on the slide and then but you could say if they've already visited then you'll know the slides variable will be true and then you can just say if you know variable whatever slide visited is equal to false so when they come back to the slide if they revisit it they've already they won't get that instruction again so that's kind of an extra bonus to that but generally this should help you if you have any questions just follow up in the thread